everyone, welcome to the Japanese Whiskey Review. I'm Brian, we're talking about the best Japanese whiskies, at least the ones I've tasted, and I've tasted quite a few. Continuing on the Chichibu Hanyu Kawasaki family of whiskies, and uh, all whiskies in the list rate at least 90 out of 100 or better. And I put a full list of the best Hanyu Chichibu and Kawasaki in the description. Some I didn't do full tasting notes on, but uh, they were also crackers and gold medal winners, that's for sure. Anyway, we're going to talk about one of the card series. And I've tasted a number of these card series, these famous Tichibu card series of whiskies. I think they still hold the record, at least of the time I'm doing this, of the most expensive series of Japanese whiskies ever sold, even though no one's ever sold the full set of card series, because there's more than the 52. There was full casts that had, they split the cast, so they bottle half, then they do another release. So really, the full list is at 56, whatever it is. I'm not a card player so much, so. But no one's ever sold the full one, but the ones that are considered every number or whatever it is in the pack, one of, you know, they've sold. And uh, I think the last one was uh, Aaron Chan's bottlings from Club King fame in Hong Kong. Anyway, let's move on. So this one's a Cheers Malt Nine of Clubs. 1991 to 2011, so around 20 years old. Hogshead Bourbon Barrel, cast number 401, rings in a 57.3% ABV. And I guess one of the classic things about any Hanyu is talk about luck. Japanese whiskey was going nowhere, the company was going, having struggles, and they had to close down. So Originally, they claimed the fame of the Funyu, the, I'm going to say the Funyu, the Hanyu, the Ichiro family, the Kuto family. It was sake making for hundreds of years. They get in a whiskey when whiskey's on the slide in Japan and no one's drinking it. Now you're making this stuff. Now, if it was another eight or nine years later that they were doing this, we'd still have a Hanyu distillery run by that family. Luck of the draw when Japanese whiskey just started to take off. So, let's go. Nose, stone fruits, very much a Hanyu nose, Hanyu distillery flavoring or flavor that you get in there or nose you get in there. Praline, drying newly tanned leather, caramel, oak, soy sauce. So there's a little bit of umami savoriness in there. Ash and brine, so some peated whiskey in there. They certainly did do peated whiskey, aren't you? Palette, brown sugar, nutmeg, toffee, pepper, Brazil nuts, horse radish, mouth coating. A touch of water adds rhubarb, strawberry compote. I'm not sure how you pronounce that properly. C-O-M-P-O-T-E. Ginger, almonds, and the whole grows more palate smacking as the time goes on. And the finish I get rhubarb, strawberry jam, pepper, tobacco, leather and ash. The last word it's a nice balance of a sweet dry combo. And this particular card series I rated 90 out of 100 and surprisingly enough I rated more under 90 out of 100 out of the card series than I rated over 90 out of 100. And this isn't some weird kind of indulgent backlash, backlash to go, I know better. It's just the way it was. I mean, when Ichiro Kudo started doing this series, it was just a, uh, an incredible brainstorm and an idea that he came up to have like a novelty series that works, collect the whole series. It didn't mean that they were the best cast there. I'm not saying deliberately didn't select the best cast. It doesn't mean they were. It's just a great idea. Well, it was great in the end for those because you could buy these and I'll do a story about uh, some of these at some stage about how much they used to cost compared to now for the price of a you know a decent 18 year old or 10 year old or 12 year old scotch in some instances so anyway that's one 90 out of 100 rating so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye for now